goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Quicksilver. All right, this is Quicksilver. His uh, special powers, actually, is a power script for Quicksilver. As I urge everybody, before you download any script or uh, mod, make sure that you read the description that the author has provided for you, okay? It's very important. It has a bunch of important stuff in here. Um, this one has requirements and everything and um, how to use and also the controls, okay? So it's uh, very important that you read the description, all right? Now, we are going to be installing this as well and we will need the quicksilver head himself okay so we are going to be downloading quicksilver x-men apocalypse okay um this link will also be in the description all right so we are going to be installing today quicksilver.net which is the um, powers and we will be installing quicksilver x-men apocalypse as well okay <clears throat> now for the minimum requirements we are going to need script hook v script hook v.net native ui open four and i think that's about it for right now okay so i will have all those links down in the description make sure that you check it out it will be under mods and video and there will be links all right containing all of the mods that we will be installing today okay so make sure that you check that out all right so once you get to this link and download quicksilver and you download quicksilver x-men apocalypse it should look something like this on my left hand side i have a folder open with quicksilver and i also have the quicksilver add-on pad okay and on the right hand side i have the grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and we are going to need our scripts folder so let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder now let's go back over to our downloads and we are going to start with quicksilver folder okay that is the quicksilver powers all right let's go ahead and open up this one now what we want to do is open up the scripts folder all right now we're going to grab everything inside of this quicksilver scripts folder and we are going to drag and drop everything i have highlighted right here into your scripts folder in your grand theft auto 5 just like that I already have it as you can see now what we want to do is go back to our grand theft auto 5 directory by either clicking on grand theft auto 5 or just click the back arrow button all right now that we are back at our grand theft auto 5 directory let's go back over to our quicksilver folder all right and inside the quicksilver folder um, we already installed the scripts but we have this ace ASI file that we have to um, install it also. So let's go ahead and select the Quicksilver LIB. It's an ASI file. So take this one I have highlighted, drag and drop it into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Okay. Now from this point on, what we want to do is we will need also add on pads. Okay. Um, if I forgot to mention it earlier, I apologize, but we will still need add-on pads. I'll have a link down in the description showing you how to install that as well. If you already have it installed, let's go ahead and open up our add-on pads editor by right-clicking on add-on pads editor and run as administrator. All right, now we have our add-on pads editor window open up. Let's go ahead and minimize that for right now. And let's go ahead and open up our open four all right i have my open four opened up on my right hand side right here now what we need to do is go into our mods folder and go to update then go to 64 then go to dlc packs select add-on pads dlc.rpf pitch.rpf and here we are going to be installing our quicksilver add-on pad so let's go to our quicksilver the add-on pad folder and let's open that one up inside of that folder we are going to have um, 
four quick silver files and we are going to drag and drop these that I have highlighted. Okay, you want to make sure that you have the YDD, YFT, YMT, and the YTD file highlighted. Okay, we're going to drag and drop those right into our open four. Okay, I have mine right here. So once that is done, um, what we got to do is bring up our add-on PEDs editor. And now you want to create a new PED and you want to add the name Quicksilver. Okay. So you just want to go ahead and highlight the name Quicksilver, copy, come over here, go ahead and paste. Model name uh, is Quicksilver and then PED type will be male and is streamed will be false okay and you're going to select add ped all right select that after you add the ped you want to click rebuild and then a little box like this will pop up go ahead and select okay all right now that we have our add-on ped added to our uh, peds.rpf and we also added the ped to the add-on peds editor we can go ahead and close out the editor and we can go ahead and close out of open four. Now let's bring back our Grand Theft Photo 5 directory. All right, I brought back my Grand Theft Photo 5 directory right here on my right hand side. Now what I want to do is go inside the scripts folder. Okay, let's open up the scripts folder. Now let's go to our Quicksilver files folder. Open up that one. Now let's open up the profiles folder. Now let's go back over to our Quicksilver add-on pad folder that we were just in. And at the bottom of those files that we just dragged and dropped, we have a configuration settings file. It says X-Men Apocalypse on it. We want to drag and drop that right here into our profiles folder that we just opened up. All right. Mine's just right here. Now that we have everything installed, we can go ahead and minimize any windows we have open and run the game. All right, when you load into the game, what we wanna do is open up our add-on page by pressing L on the keyboard. That'll bring up the menu in the top left. Let's go ahead and select Quicksilver. Okay. Now to open up the Quicksilver um, power menu, we want to press F10. Okay, that's function key F10. That's gonna open up a um, communication menu in the top left, okay? When you open up, just go ahead and select. All right, once it selects and, and it opens up to the Quicksilver script, we wanna scroll down to X-Men Apocalypse. And then we want to scroll down to activate powers and equip suit. All right. Now activate powers and equip suit is activated. We can back out that menu. <clears throat> now I'm going to teleport to somewhere a little bit more busy. All right. Now to um, get things going, I press caps lock on the keyboard. When you press caps locked on the keyboard, you will see him adjust his glasses and everybody will be still. Okay, everybody, I mean, well, they're not exactly still, still, they're kind of moving, but they're not. <laughs> All right. And if you adjust your mouse, your mouse will, will change the speed that he could uh, run. Or if you're using the controller, then press right or left on the D-pad and that will adjust his speed. Now when you run into something, it will automatically damage it, just like this. Look. See how I hit that? And like all the glass shatter is like, it's crazy man, it looks wild. <laughs> and then we can run into people and stuff. We can even grab people if we uh, use the controller, you press the uh, Y on the controller. And if you press, um, I believe it's X on the key. No, not, no, not X. Um, what button was that? If I press um, select 
for the interaction key on my uh, controller, then that'll change my actions. I can punch, I can punch objects. All right, let's cause a little bit more damage. And after you're done causing the damage and stuff like that, okay, see so now we get the punch stuff now. Once you're done causing your damage, you can go ahead and, pr and uh, press the caps lock button again. <laughs> and you will see that. <laughs> wow, that was wild. Where did that truck go, man? <laughs> wow, there's that truck way up there. Wow, look where that truck is at, man. That shit way up there. Okay, so we're going to press caps lock again. All right. Um, actually, let me unpress that. Let's uh, press F10. Press F10, open up the menu, and uh, select X Men Apocalypse, and scroll up and select Settings. Now, what you want to do is, uh, oops, not those settings. We want to go to Camera Settings. Okay, select Camera Settings, and scroll down to Use Camera and turn that to true okay you want to turn use camera to true all right let's back up out of that that way when we use our uh, quicksilver powers and stuff we won't have a problem turning and using our camera to look around okay because if you don't do that the camera will lock all right so now we get to you know like choose the angle that we want to look at Alright, as you can see, I'm pushing all these cars over. Wow, look at this one. That's messed up real bad. Oh, man. That's a good little screenshot right there. I gotta get a selfie of that. Selfie! <laughs> Alright. Let me just run into a couple of people over here real quick. There we go. Got them in the air. Push these people out the way real quick. And uh, let me push her real quick. She has a donut. Let me grab that donut. Look, we're eating her donut. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that if you catch somebody that's eating and you uh, and you turn the Quicksilver on, you just go up to them, knock the food out their hand, and press uh, the grab button to take it out. All right, but you gotta read the instructions, man, on the from the description. That's why I urge everybody to read the damn description. All right. All right. So once you're done causing your damage, you can go ahead and press uh, the caps lock key. And that'll release the time and let everything just go wild. All right. So I'm definitely going to play around with this a little bit more and see what damage I could do. know if we call this call the cops actually let's get the cops out here all right all right it's always good to make sure that you have a uh, some type of menu on i think we're invincible i i, I don't know i don't know let's see settings let's say anything about invincible in here All right, well, let's go get the cops on it, shall we? And increase. All right, y'all. Just, just chill around and wait until the police show up, shall we? Okay, we got weapons and stuff, right? There we go. I don't know how I messed with that. Why isn't this? What the hell? Did they dumb down the atomizer or something? The, the up and atomizer? Where the hell is the police at? He needs. What the hell is that? He's still getting up. <laughs> oh crap! There they go. All right, they out here, y'all. It is game on right now. All right, we got a guy right there we're gonna run into. 
Actually, this is grab him. Oh, we grabbed his gun. Okay. There we go. You got your gun, buddy. You're not getting your gun back. Push him out the way. Oh, we can't use this weapon right now. There we go, we can shove him. I'm gonna shove you, shove the truck. I'm gonna shove you, shove the truck. There we go. Alright, you get tires on that one. Oh. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna shove you. I'm gonna push all that over there. Wow. I love that part where you can just run right into it and just mess up everything within seconds. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. In seconds, I just messed up the whole front part. Wow. Is the wheel and everything for to come off? I don't know where are they going. Y'all, we're going to push y'all to the wall. Are right, y'all ready to see what happens? <laughs> Let's do this. All right, we are back from that minor little crash that we had there. Uh, that might happen to you as well. If you do, just go ahead and restart the game. Um, it won't be crashing that much because I had a chance to use this for a while uh, before I even made the video and it crashed. So, yeah, definitely. Oops, we're supposed to go in here. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, we're going to end the video right here. If you enjoyed this video for it helped you out a lot, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics me and quicksilver we are out of here till next time y'all i ain't scared of you motherfuckers